What if I told you there's a way for your voice agent to remember everything about every prospect? In this video, you'll learn exactly how conversation memory and dynamic variables work for both inbound and outbound calls. I'll walk you through the exact workflow we use with our clients so our outbound voice agents call leads with full context and how we enrich future conversations by remembering everything we talked about in previous conversations. This is one of those pieces that make voice agents in the real world actually useful because nobody likes talking to the same voice agent twice and having to start again from what is your name? I'm Alejo from Amplify Voice and after building dozens of voice agents, and I can tell you that dynamic variables are a key part of system design that make users actually want to engage with your voice agents. We specialize in crafting outbound voice agents that come in at the exact moment in the sales process that have the biggest impacts on leads converting. So if you have leads but want more sales, come to our website and try Saya for yourself. Dynamic variables are usable in any voice agent platform. In this case, I'm gonna show you with retail, but I care about teaching you useful principles, not just platforms. I mean, the principle I'm diving into today is the difference between static agents and dynamic and intelligent agents. That because of the context that we give them are much more powerful. So instead of your voice agent asking, what's your name to every caller, it can say, hi, Sarah, let's pick up where we left off yesterday. And the best way I can show you is actually showing you. So let's go to our website and we're gonna fill out the form to get a call from Saya. We're gonna choose uh, a real estate industry, then we complete the form here. And now when I click get a call from Saya, the agent's gonna call my number. Okay, there you go, getting a call. Hi Alejo, thanks for picking it up. I'm Saya, a digital assistant from Amplify Real Estate. I saw you reached out through our website. Are you currently looking to buy or sell a property? Uh, I'm actually looking to sell. Yeah, yeah. That's great to hear, Alejo. Selling a property is a big step, and I'm here to help make it as smooth as possible for you. Are you currently working with a real estate agent, or would this be your first time connecting with someone? Uh, it, it would be our first time um, that we talked to a, a real estate agent about selling, Perfect. yeah. Thanks for clarifying, Alejo. Just to make sure I understand, have you already signed an agreement with another real estate agent? Or are no, you no, you guys are the first ones. And open to Thank you for confirming, Alejo. We'd be honored to help you with your sale. To get a better sense of how we can support you, what's your ideal timeline for selling your property? Uh, probably the next two months. Property? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start and it'd be, it'd be great to kind of talk to an agent. So can we set an appointment and get going? Absolutely, Alejo. I'm glad you're ready to get started. Let's set up a time for you to chat with one of our experienced agents who can walk you through the process and answer all your questions. What day and time works best for you in the next few days? Uh, actually, I have to I have to go. Uh, I'll check my calendar and, and call you back and, and maybe we can set an appointment then. Of course, Alejo. No rush at all. Just reach out when you're ready and we'll be here to help you set everything cool. up. Awesome. So what's going to happen through the N8N scenario, and I'm going to show you here in a second, is we fill out the form and there was an outbound call that was made. Now that the call finished, the conversation is going to be saved in our memory, uh, which we usually use a CRM, Go High Level or HubSpot. And these are our previous test calls. We can get rid of those because now when I call back, uh, the agent is going to have memory of what happened. There's a full transcript here and there's a summary here. But before we get to that, you see how the agent knew my name? Okay, well, that's what dynamic variables are, is the double curly bracket. In this case, first name, last name. And how I pass that information along is going to be through these three modules. So I'm receiving the information from my website. I'm setting some variables about the lead, like the first name, last name, the phone number, and which agent I want to use. And by the way, this can be dynamic based on what kind of industry the lead selected. And then we make a call through the API, which is very easy set up to set up. You just have the same URL here. We're going to do generic credential type and bearer. And all you're going to do is go to retail, API keys, copy and paste, save, bam. 
and now you can make calls. The only missing part is this JSON. You don't need to write this letter by letter yourself. You can get this template in our school community. So you can head over there and we'll give you the complete uh, workflow for this inbound outbound customer memory. But that's all that that outbound agent is. Then as I showed in my previous video about end of call reports, we're filtering the end of call report such that we only get the call analyzed. And then we just log that data into the Google Sheets. Again, we usually do this with Go High Level or HubSpot, but I want to make these tutorials accessible for everybody. So this is how that ends up looking. Next, I'm going to call the agent instead of it calling me. And through this flow, give the agent memory of our conversations. Keep in mind, it's the exact same agent. I'm just having a specific section for previous conversations with first name with Alejo. And it's going to pull up the summary of each of the conversations that we've had and pick up right where we left off. So how do we do that? Number one, we have this inbound agent webhook and this webhook we have to set up in our phone number. So we go to retail and where it says inbound call agent, we're going to click add an inbound webhook. I'm going to show you and you just paste that inbound webhook there. And what that's going to do is that when I call this number, retail is going to send a message to this webhook and ask, Hey, which agent should pick up this call? But it's not only about which agent, this is the exact same way agent that we use for our outbound and inbound. It's also about what extra context does the agent have. And I'm going to show you how we fill this in and that summarized history of previous conversations. So if I'm calling in from my number, I'll check the CRM for that number. And it's going to pull all the previous conversations from this phone number. And then we're going to aggregate all those conversations. And then we want to check, Hey, do we have any actual past conversations? Maybe this is a person calling the number for the first time. In that case, we will have this, which is very simple. We just have the same agent picking up the phone, but this callback context is we didn't recognize this number. So start the conversation from the beginning by greeting the user and asking them their name. These fallbacks are important. But what's really valuable is us being able to tell the agent for the callback context. In this specific scenario, the lead is calling you back, reference previous conversations in your intro and ask the user how you can help relative to that context. And then we just feed it the summary of the previous conversations. Let's see it in action. I'm going to call the voice agent. I'm calling it now. I'm going to go to executions and we'll see the call literally coming with retail asking what agent should pick up the phone. So it's coming in now. Hello. Hi, Alejo. This is Saya from Amplify Real Estate. Thanks so much for calling back. I remember we chatted earlier about your interest in selling a property and you mentioned you needed to check your calendar before setting up an appointment. How can I help you today? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm definitely ready to set up an appointment. Let's, let's do it. That's great to hear, Alejo. I'm excited to help you take the next step. Just to confirm, are you currently working with any other real estate agent? No, no, no. You guys, you guys are the only ones. Um, uh, and I'm, I'm ready to sell. Perfect. Thank you. That's wonderful, Alejo. Thanks for confirming. Selling a property is a big step and our team. Is and then we'll, we'll go on. If you're curious about effective appointment setting for voice agents, I'm also going to plug in a previous video I did on effective appointment setting through retail and cal.com. But again, this is one of those key pieces that for agents that are useful for the real world, this is absolutely necessary. All of this is going to be available in our school community for you to use. So come join us, ask questions, and let's talk about how you can make the most out of this scenario. And I'm happy to help you in the community with adapting this scenario for your clients, for their CRMs. But before we go, I want to leave you with one last bonus. There's something really powerful about dynamic variables, specifically in retail, which is that you can set up some default dynamic variables while you're testing your agent. So you don't have to set up all of this just to quickly test your agent. So you can set up a callback, context, email, first name, etc. Then you click test. And now you're talking with your voice agent, just as if you had just filled out the form, you had had previous conversations. And I want to be super clear. This was already the prompt that we use for this agent. The only thing we added was the callback context and summarized history variables. And because some people are calling for the first time, as opposed to the second, third or fourth time, we had a little bit of instructions on if there are any previous conversations 
address those along with the greeting and continue the conversation where you left off. But if not, that is not the case, we also give it an example of a normal introduction for a first time caller. And that's all you need to know about dynamic variables and making your agents way more useful for the real world. All the resources you just saw are available in our Amplify Voice School community, including the conversation memory structure and the prompt for the voice agent. Again, this is what we use for ourselves and for our clients to power our speed to lead agents. And maybe you are struggling with inbound recognition of contacts that are calling back again or feeding the right context to your outbound agents. Maybe you have a different challenge with voice agent personalization, and I'd love to learn what that is. So please drop a comment below and let me know where you're getting stuck. And maybe I'll make a video for that use case to get you unblocked. But if you don't want to wait, best way to get your questions answered is through our school community where we have four live events a week to help you build and sell voice agents. If you got something from this video, please like and subscribe so others can learn from it as well. I appreciate all of you and remember to never stop prompting.